David, the candidates are trying to reach every last voter here in New Hampshire before the primary, which is now less than a week away. They're holding rallies and town halls and taking questions directly from voters. We thank the people of Iowa, and they have in Iowa they have a complicated system. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders telling his supporters in Derry he's not worried about the Iowa caucus results. I think we're going to have an equal number of delegates from Iowa going to the national convention. So, Sanders held a town hall before catching a flight to D.C. for the Senate impeachment vote. The senator told a crowd of about 300 people he has the ability to bring the country together. So what we are going to do and what we are doing in this campaign and what we will do in the White House is exactly the opposite of what Trump is doing. Do you think Senator Sanders has what it takes to beat Donald Trump in the general election? I do. I do. Well, I'll stand behind him. Former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg attended a youth climate and clean energy town hall in Concord. His campaign is closely tracking the Iowa results as they're released. Uh, any way you slice it, uh, Iowa amounts to an extraordinary victory for our message and vision. Buttigieg is hoping the momentum from Iowa is going to help his campaign stay competitive in New Hampshire's tight race. So we recognize the challenge in New Hampshire where I'm competing against two other New Englanders adjacent to this state uh, and need to make sure that we're appealing to voters who famously think for themselves. This is a very independent-minded state. Buttigieg and Sanders are focusing hard on New Hampshire. Both have a full schedule of events leading right up until Tuesday. Reporting live in Derry, New Hampshire tonight, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. And Senator Amy Klobuchar also took part in the Youth Climate and Clean Energy Town Hall in Concord this morning. We spoke with her one-on-one -on -one before she headed back to Washington for the impeachment vote. She told us she feels good about her place in the race. I think people understand uh, that I'm off the campaign trail again simply because I need to do my job. I am firmly in the top five. I uh, didn't spend nearly as much money as the other candidates in terms of advertising. Senator Elizabeth Warren joined Klobuchar in voting to remove the president, but before she left to head south, she spoke with voters in Nashua at a Get Out the Vote event. Now, former Vice President Joe Biden spoke with voters this afternoon in Summersworth, New Hampshire, telling everyone in this crowd that he took a gut punch in Iowa, but added it isn't the first time in his life he's been knocked down.